Hey, what's up guys? We're back for another top 10 list. This is the last video is top 10 uh, bleed resistant characters in the game and today's list is going to be top 10 poison resistant or immune characters in the game. So keep in mind for this list, the same as the last one, we will not be using characters like Ghost, uh, Aegon, anyone who just shrug off or anything like that. It's just characters who are immune to it. Because say for example you using Ghost and you got some buffs on you and you know then what's it called long shot throws that special too and then you just incinerate instantly and die or the same thing with Aegon you know you don't have that second to shrug shit off you'll just instantly die basically so this is characters that like you can start off the quest like Aegon that is zero hit combo you can start the quest off and you're instantly immune to it okay no shrugging off just immune characters you don't have to do anything for they're always immune so let's start this list and number 10 this list is going to be a little bit interesting just for this one placement. Number 10, we have a Mega Red. See, the reason I put him at number 10 is because he's Poison Immune. He's a great character and all. But this is the thing. If you have Suicides, he is the number one Poison Immune character, I think. If you don't, he's number 10 on this list, I would say. Even without Suicides, if he's Awakened in High Sig, I would put him at number 10. So, if he, just keep in mind, if he's Awakened, I mean, if you're running Suicides number one character on this list if you're not number 10 the reason why he was number one in the bleed list spoilers is um because you don't need to have suicides if you're running to if you're in a scenario where they put bleeds on you you pretty much got that damage back with this scenario if you don't run suicides you don't really have much damage so remember at number 10 on this list crazy damage doesn't ever have to touch the opponent just one of the best characters in the game for that kind of stuff um you know, he makes non-contact hits, so he's going to do Electro, Korg's Rock Stacks. Some of the highest damage in the game without having to touch opponents. Can counter magics. Just overall, some of the best damage in the game without having to actually touch opponents. But, you know, even with this, he has crazy regeneration on the special one. Crazy damage with the death field of the special two. Crazy regeneration and power gen in the special three. Overall, really good character, but he does need to be awakened in high sigs. So, yeah, number 10 on the list, a Meg Red. Now we're going on to the actual, because he is poison immune, and he's 90% bleed resistant, so yeah. But now we're going to go on to the actual, like, normal characters that it will just be in the same place, no matter what, you're in suicides or not, in my opinion. Number 9 on the list, we got my boy Red Hulk. Red Hulk, I think, is criminally underrated. His character is extremely good. He is resistant to poison. He's immune to poison and incinerate. Um, actually, he's more than immune to it. It's kind of better. Um, if he would get it on him, it would instantly shrug it off, and you'd get a heat charge from it. So he's pretty much always immune to those two. Um, but it gives him strength. So the way this guy works is very simple character. He um, has a heat charge mechanic, okay? And every time you throw a special one or get, take, like, an energy hit, you gain one heat charge up to a maximum of 10. And once you're at 10 heat charges, you're hitting, like, a truck. Um, yeah, it's not that complicated of a character. He doesn't... He does a lot of his damage through, like, the energy damage from the heat charges. So, like, if you're versing, like, a Mr. Sinister, I found him pretty good for that fight, like, back in the day. Because a good chunk of your damage isn't coming from the crits, so you can pretty much out-damage it really easily. So, yeah, Red Hulk's a really easy character, really simple to use. He has Incinerate on a special 2, very small one, and he has some regeneration on the special 2 also. He also has a big Incinerate on the special 3, I guess, but I would honestly just spam special 1s if you use him. So, yeah, he's a pretty good character. He's really good for, like, man things and stuff, I find. Because, um, you know, man things crit resistant, but Red Hulk can do his normal hits plus the energy damage, so he's good for that fight. And it's a mystic fight, so he builds his charges really quickly. So yeah, number nine on this list goes to Red Hulk. Now, number eight, a character that is, um, I do not have at a high star. Actually, I'm going to pull them up as a six star just because it looks cooler. Emma Frost, she is going to be in a lot of these lists just because she's in her diamond form, which you can permanently stay in. She is immune to all five of the debuffs in the game, Bleed, Poison, Cold, Snap, Frostbite, Incinerate, and Shock. So yeah, she's just overall insane. If you stay in her diamond form, she's fully immune to poison. She's number eight in the list because if you stay in her diamond form, you know, you can permanently um, be like immune to everything in the game. You have a really good perfect block, really good armor. You pretty much are super tanky. So Emma Frost is just a really good character. The only thing is to stay in her diamond form, you have to spam special ones. So if you're on Suicide, she's not the best character, but say like it's a node that's like, 
you know, for the start of the fight, you have a poison that does 100% of your health over 60 seconds. You start the fight in diamond mode normally. And, you know, after that, then you just don't have to worry about it for the rest of the fight. And you can go into your second mode, which is her... What is the f second mode called? Telepath form, which she counters all evade. And, um... She can do crazy prowess damage. So, yeah. Also, in her he uh, if she throws a heavy attack in her diamond form, she gains a lot of power, and they generate a lot less power. So, Emma Frost, just the ability to be fully immune to all five debuffs in the game permanently is super good. She has a really good synergy with Colossus, I think. Um, Emma switches to diamond form. It's not that helpful for Emma, I guess, but um, for Colossus, it's really good. So... Yeah, Emmerfrost is just a beast of a character. Just being being able to fully counter evade and being able to fully counter and being super tanky, all debuffs is really good. So now we're going to number seven on the list. We got uh where is she? Number seven for poison immunity. We got She Hulk. She Hulk is insane. She's poison immune. That's pretty much her only immunity. But what makes this character so good is she can just keep spiking up her damage infinitely with her furies. And basically, every time you throw a heavy attack with She-Hulk, she'll put a slow on the enemy. So basically, she's very simple. She can ramp up her damage with Furies, and every time the enemy throws a special, it'll refresh all of her Furies. She's poison immune, and every time she throws a heavy, um, she puts a slow on you. So she can pretty much infinitely slow characters, like the Abyss thing she can one-shot. She can one-shot a lot of Abyss fights if you just want to play it long-term. Um, so yeah, she's a really good character, really good, but... For me, I'd prefer Stealth Suit Spider-Man, but on this list, when it comes to... This list isn't about slow, it's about poison immunity. So, for when it comes to poison immune characters, he's probably overall the seventh best character. And once again, this is opinion, so don't crucify me. Number six on this list, we got my girl... Where is she at? Medusa. Medusa is one of, the, like, the best poison immune characters. The only issue with her is she is not available as a six-star, but... Basically, she ha okay. Her awakened ability is not that it gives her a lot of damage and it gives her a nice fail safe if she gets hit. She shuts down robots. She makes robots her bitch. If you fight a robot, she she'll just rape them. And she's poison immune, so there's not really that much to Medusa. It's just she can shut down um, robots. They can't gain any power. They gain no ability. They have no more abilities. The nodes that are on like they their nodes get shut off. Like she has nothing. So overall, I would put Medusa as the sixth best poison counter in the game. Just her damage is so high and the fact that she can just destroy robots. Um, she's very good, she's like her, her own niche in the game. Number five, we have Black Widow Clairvoyant. Black Widow Clairvoyant, so basically the way she works is she has three phases and in her second phase, she's poison immune. So the way to get to her second phase is right when the fight starts, she'll start in the bleed phase. You just have to throw a four hit combo and end it with a light. You just parry, light, 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 and now you're in your, her poison phase. She'll be fully immune to poison, and the way she works is now that she's fully immune to poison, her special too, because all of her phases have do different things. So in their poison phase, she power drains on every hit of her special two. So basically, you fight in a Hyperion, he's never gonna like throw a like get to a special three. Um, so clairvoyant, she's just a really good character overall good damage she she can on special twos also not just power drain she puts buff immunity on the opponent for a good amount of time so they can't gain any buffs so yeah overall i'm putting black widow clear one at number five on this list she is just so good so yeah she's number five fully can she can nullify pretty much everything and she's power drain in her poison phase so she's a good power drain character number four on the list for best power uh for best poison character immunes we got our boy Warlock. Warlock is, you know, XL tech character, so he's insane for two of the variants. Um, he basically has the best heal block in the game 99% um, of the times. If you have, like, crazy healing, he'll be, like, one of the best counters for it. He's bleed, poison immune, and cold snap and frostbite, so he's triple immune. He has very strong bleed on his heavy attack, so we can do do you bleed, honestly, not even that badly. Um, not the best, but he can still do it. Um, so yeah, he also has an armor up buff, which is good to keep in mind because he's immune to havoc with that. So yeah, Warlock for me is at number four on the list for best poison counter in the game. If you need a poison immune character and a new player, you get a Warlock. He's very nice. 
Number three on the list, we do not, actually we do have. Number three, we got Captain Marvel movie. This character is extremely powerful. One of the hardest hitters in the game when she's like in her binary state. She does not need to wait to be awakened to be good. Her awakened ability does give her an indestructible though when she goes into binary uh, for up to 12 seconds at max sig. And this makes her fully debuff immune. Uh, or not debuff, this makes her fully immune to everything in the game for 12 seconds. But just like base Captain Marvel, she's poison immune. And she'll be always poison immune. She'll never take damage from poison. Basically, the way she works is you parry and you know, you take, you just parry, keep parrying, or take some energy damage, which is not to advise in most scenarios. And once you get to 25 charges, um, she goes into a massive damage mode with these furies. So, you know, Captain Marvel movie, very basic. She's just poison immune and she does a lot of damage. That's pretty much all I gotta know about her. Um, she can be indestructible for up to 12 seconds right when the fight starts. So that can be very helpful for certain scenarios, but just for poison immunity, I think she's the third best poison counter in the game. If you need a poison immune character, she's definitely really good. But I will say she also does kind of heavily rely on having the Nick Fury synergy. If you don't have the Nick Fury synergy, she's probably lower in the list, but with it, her binary charges last a lot longer and you can keep them up infinitely. Not that hard either um, with the synergy. So yeah, definitely number two in the list. Or three. Number two on the list Hyperion. Hyperion is one of the best poison counters in the game. He's only poison immune, but he has so much to the table. Um, first things first, he's amazing with or without suicide, which not a lot of characters are. Another thing he has that not a lot of characters have is, um, you know, most characters only have like one or two like good specials. Hyperion's one of the few characters in the game that all three of his specials have really good uses for. His special one does a crazy damage over time with incinerate. His special two can armor break and stun, so you can stun lock. His special three gives him cosmic charges, which you can convert into a massive regeneration. Um, you know, on heavy attacks, he gains furies, and these furies are extremely strong. So you can spam heavy with this guy. Um, what else does he have? Um, he also has crazy power gain. He, does, he doesn't rely on being awakened, but it makes him, like, a lot better of a character. It makes his buffs. His, mainly his fury and... Um, uh, oh, I guess regeneration, fury, and power gain a lot longer. So it makes his damage phase a lot higher because he's getting a lot more power. So he's doing a lot more specials, and he is, his furies are lasting a lot longer. So you can stack up more and more. So Hyperion's honestly just such a good character. Just the thing that about him is if you have him as a five star rank him up because he's not even available as a six star, so you don't have to worry about that. Hyperion, number two character for poison immunity in the game. If there's ever a poison fight, Hyperion's definitely one of the best counters to for it, just in my head already. So yeah, he's number two in the list. Number one, the best counter for poison in the game, in my opinion. If you got her, use her, guillotine 2099. And once again, we're not including like Ghost and Aegon in this list. Just like normal, people that just have immunity in their base. Guillotine 2099, she's such a powerhouse. She has bleed immunity, poison immunity, she can regenerate like crazy, she can power drain, she has an armor buff, so she's havoc immune. She has some of the highest damage output in the game, she can solo almost every single labyrinth fight. She's super good for long fights, big health pools, she just eats their ass. Um, Guilty is just such a good character, honestly, there's not much bad about her. If you can place her super well, she's insane. She was super good for the John Mulaney challenge, she pretty much just like soloed like every fight. If you're a really good player, she is... She's just so good. Because, you know, her damage is tied in with her combo meter. So if you can keep her combo high and not get hit, and she's just so good. She has power drain on special one, heal reversal on special two. And she, she's just an overall beast. Um, her, she does not need to be awakened, which is really nice. So overall, I think she's the number one poison immune character in the game. That being said, like I said, though, earlier, if you run suicides, I think Omega Red is probably still the number one poison immune character in the game. So, yeah, but if you don't run suicides, this list will be a little bit different. I think if you don't run suicides, Guillotine 2099, just her utility, her damage, her immunities, they're just so strong. She has to be number two, at least for me. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what your list is below in the comments. And, um, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.